Come in. Okay, I'm coming. What's up? Mum, I've told her. Let's come in. I'm going to get dressed and I'm going to go round there. No, there's no point in taking it out and I can tell she wasn't happy about you two getting married. I knew about it. And all the time she acted like you weren't good enough. Please, Mum. She had the cheek to look down her nose at you. Don't go round and there. all the time she knew her precious son was cheating on you and lying to you. Well, I'm going to give her a piece of my mind. <sighs> Haven't I had enough turmoil for one day? Sarah. I'm seven months pregnant. I'm going to be a single mum with two kids. I need you to put your arm around me and tell me it's going to be all right. I need you to listen to me. Not go storming over the road, making things worse. I'm sorry. It just makes me so angry. <laughs> you think I'm not angry? Of course you. But it will be all right. I promise you. You're going to move back in here. And I'm going to take care of you. And we'll get through this. Poor Sarah. I thought you decided you wanted to stick with her and the baby. I did. So when did you change your mind? I haven't. That's still what I want to do. You just told her anyway. I had to. I haven't been able to relax for weeks. There hasn't been a minute, not a single minute, awake or asleep when I've been thinking about it. I just had to get it out in the open. Do you feel better for it? No. <sighs> How did she take it? She's left me. She's gone to her mum's and I don't think she's going to be coming back. Best keep out of Gail's way for a few days, then, I think. I've made such a mess of my life, and now I've ruined hers look, as well. Look, she'll cope. Hey, so will you. Hmm? Come on. He's over at his mum's. Are you Todd? He couldn't look me in the eye. Well, I'm going to make him. Well, but isn't it humiliating enough as it is? They're the ones who should be humiliated. Why is it always us? Why are we always the victims? I'm sick of it. After everything we've been through, after everything we've had thrown at us, well, I'm not putting up with it anymore. Mum, please. Go inside, Sarah. This won't take long. Don't answer it. Who is it? You hear me? You can't come out and face me like a real man, can you? Because you're not a real man. Gail, calm down. Where is he? Look, I'll put the kettle on, go home, put some clothes on and come back and we'll talk about it. We don't want to be fighting on the doorstep. You just sat in that church, watched my daughter walk down the aisle and not said a dicky bird, wouldn't you? Oh, come on, nobody wanted this to happen. It's nobody's fault. It's your son's fault. He can't help the way he is. Then why did he get involved with her in the first place? He never wanted to hurt Sarah. This has been weeks. It's Sarah who's tormented. Tormented by the thought of what him and that mate of his has been up to in her bed. He hasn't gone up to anything. Her own bed. He wouldn't do that. He's admitted it. I'm not discussing this here. And you knew about it all along. Look, he's confused. He's been trying to do the right thing. He wants to stand by Sarah and the baby. He loves her. He wouldn't sleep with other men if he loved her. He hasn't. He's had these feelings and now he's finally admitted them. He should at least respect his honesty. Honesty? He's a cheating, two-timing, twitching pervert. And a liar! He is no pervert. I'm sorry, OK? I'm sorry, but it's over now and I won't do it again. Oh, of course you will. You have done it. I was just about to tell you. In Sarah's bed? I'm sorry. Sorry? I'll make you sorry! Leave him alone! Come on, Mum! You get my daughter pregnant, run off with another man, and all you can say is sorry! Stop it! We've nothing to be ashamed of, Sarah! It's him that's in the wrong! And I want everyone to know him inside! Gail, this is a bad situation for everyone! No one wanted this to happen! I think it suits you! I think you planned it! Don't be stupid! Just get inside! It was your idea to move! 
move into that flat. It was your idea to get married. Yeah, because I loved and her. Sarah couldn't believe her luck. I still do. It was your idea to have a baby. Yeah, if she didn't take my persuading, did she? She never does. And you were happy, because it's the only chance you're going to get the grandchild of that pervert. Go on, Gail. Ah, oh, she's lost it, hasn't she? I knew she would one day. I haven't lost it. It's him. Your brother. He's gay. Did you know that? Why don't you go and have a lie down? You stay away from my family. All of them. Sarah and Nick. Go home, Gail. And David come to that. Is he next on your list? Go home, Gail. Sarah needs you. Well, she doesn't need you. Right, get in. The show's over! Rubber room time on Planet Plat, eh? <laughs> it's true. I am what? Gay. You serious? Yeah. Right. I'll leave you to it, shall I? See you tomorrow, Jay. Coming in. <laughs> 